Live pictures from the beach in Kennebunk. We were talking about this yesterday. It's not a terrible beach week. No. Just bundle up, dress for it. Yeah, um, it's it depends what you're there to do. Right. You know, if you're trying to tan like Gutner, it's not great. Not but, if, but these people out for a walk. Walking around, you get you Perfect. Know, dogs if they're allowed. It depends on the situation. Yeah, this time of year is a little dicey. It though. is. Uh, this weekend, though, I think, especially Sunday, you could do it. Actually enjoy it. Yeah, you could do a weather. legit beach day. Meanwhile, across northern Maine, still dealing with the showers, kicking around. As we talked about yesterday, this would be a factor with this low moving up into Canada, but kind of pushing around up here. And so there's showers that will continue through the afternoon over northern Maine. The rest of us broken into a mixture of sun and clouds. But certainly look at the last couple of frames of this where we bubble up all these cumulus fair weather clouds kind of out of nowhere. And that's because the atmosphere is a little bit more unstable than it's been recently. So we're not able to see those kind of crystal clear skies. We'll get back to that for the weekend. But uh, as long as this lows around today, part of tomorrow, we're going to have some cloud cover kicking around as well. So temperatures in the 60s right now, we could get in the mid 60s later this afternoon, especially along the coastline. The northwest flow allows some warmer temperatures there. No sea breeze issues, but the showers continue north of Bangor, especially north of Millinocket, off and on through the rest of this afternoon and really into a little part of tonight as well. And that low is still kind of hanging around during the day tomorrow, especially the first half of the day. So there'll be additional cloud cover, I'd say, over a good part of the state. The exception might be far western Maine and back into New Hampshire. But we'll deal with clouds through the first half of the day and then try to clear out in the afternoon on Friday. We should be able to do that before sunset, which of course is fairly late this time of the year after 8 o'clock. So I think as we go into late afternoon, early evening, we set up with what is going to be the feeling for the whole weekend, which is clear and really pleasant. And so we start off in the morning in the mid 40s on Saturday, but we start pushing into the 70s Saturday afternoon. I think we're pretty uniform temperature wise here on Saturday. Not a whole lot of sea breeze going on. We'll see more of a difference inland versus coastal on Sunday, and that's because of the position of this high pressure system slowly sliding off to the east. We get into some warmer stuff Sunday, and then probably this backdoor cold front does come through in time for Memorial Day. The models have kind of uh, figured out that debate, but overall, the high protects us over the weekend, and that's the important thing. There's storms kind of all around us, which are initially made me fairly nervous, but it looks like that that's not going to be a problem for us. The high will hold all of this away from us except for that backdoor cold front, and that front will be dry. It'll just be a change in air mass. So our warmest day is Sunday. I think we get into the mid-70s along the coastline, maybe upper 70s, and then we see breeze. So earlier, the better, in my opinion, for a beach day situation, if you can get away with it. Inland, mid 80, so a great lake day for sure. Uh, it will be borderline hot, not that humid though. So we get that going for us. Yesterday we talked about Monday, who is gonna win the battle, the European model or the GFS? And uh, it's the Euro. The Euro is cooler and it seems to be correct because the GFS just totally changed its mind on how hot would be on Monday. So well, we're in the 70s instead of the potential at 90 that the GFS was advertising. Looks like we build a little warmth to perhaps heat Mid next week, we'll see more widespread 80s, especially away from the coastline. Could pop an upper 80 here or though, there, so it will definitely feel like a transition over to summer. Now, how long we hold it, who knows? It's always very interesting around here. It's but, back. But, but certainly leading into this um, pattern, it's a good start. Yeah, and look out at the lakes. It'll be busy then. Yeah, and then it'll be the this place. is one yeah. where like uh, everybody gets their boat on Memorial Day weekend. Yes. That's kind of the Do thing, it here. So it'll Looks be busy. Good. Yeah. Keith, thanks.